What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So do you guys remember Ian Beard, the security researcher who made various iOS 10 jailbreaks possible by releasing several exploits back in the day? Well, they are back and they posted a huge write-up for the 2023 NSO in the wild iOS zero-click blast door web P exploit. So the Google Project Zero has been posting this kind of write-ups for a long time. They cover a lot of vulnerabilities, including iOS ones. And we actually used to use this for jailbreak purposes quite a lot. Many vulnerabilities detailed and released by Project Zero, including by Ian Beer, have been used in Yalu jailbreak and stuff like that. And this time they detailed a very important and huge vulnerability because this one is essentially a zero-click vulnerability. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to click on anything, you will just get an iMessage and that iMessage contains a trigger for that whole exploit. It's huge and it was patched and it's an older vulnerability by now, but the write-up has just been posted now. Yes, it really took two years to get this posted. But as you can see here, it's a huge write-up detailing every single part of the exploit chain and everything that they managed to analyze. Now, previously, we did get this from the Citizen Lab back in 2023. They posted this, quote, NSO group iPhone zero click zero day exploit captured in the wild. They did detail what CVEs were attributed by Apple and that an update is now available and that you should enable lockdown mode if you think that you are a victim of this and that the exploit was actually used in the wild to target somebody with government ties but that's about it no explanation of how the exploit worked no code nothing however what Ian Beer posted in here is the full write-up containing all the code all the information on how it worked and so on and it turns out that this is actually very similar to another NSO exploit captured in the wild part of the Pegasus spyware called forced entry they are actually quite similar and as it turns out this essentially exploits an issue in the WebP processing so WebP P. It's an image format like JPEG or PNG and stuff like that. So if you go ahead and read this, it's actually quite interesting. It's not an easy vulnerability. It's not a simple one and it's extremely powerful. Even to this day, this one is really, really powerful. So yeah, it's nice to see Ian Beer back doing iOS stuff. Even though it's for an older iOS version, this is still a massive find. And at the time this exploit was captured in the wild, it actually raised a lot of concerns because this was completely no click, no interaction from the user and it was found out that it was already used against somebody. So this is NSO at work yet again with their very complicated exploit. Anyway, pretty nice to see. I definitely recommend you to read this, especially if you're on iOS 16.x using Cowabanga and stuff like that. This is definitely something you would want to know. Anyway, this video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to fix your iOS device easily with just a couple of clicks. If your device is stuck in DFU mode, stuck on Apple logo, it won't turn on, frozen screen, iPhone disabled, stuff like that, you can definitely check out their tool. You can fix up to 150 plus iOS and iPadOS errors. Definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I'm Gio Snow. Till the next time, peace out.